are you doing, Aloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking, Banuke shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuke is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you do as you wish. Hmm, touchy. No space.
welcome, I guess. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Smoke rising from the mountain, and the village too. What's it for? You who died on Thunder's drum, your songs will not be forgotten. Our shaman has abandoned us. Our chieftain has led our death. I do not think that our hunter's blood is on Aratak's hands. He led them to a great challenge. That is all. The smoke from the mountain is worse today. A bad omen for the ritual. If Aratak needs to go back to the mountain, and I will stand with him. There must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. The young hunters have learned a lesson from Thunder's drum. Sometimes, loss is the price of survival. You'd ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight 
and die as well as they did. My courage, my spear. Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok. We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The Daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Is Aritok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aria came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum. And they believed it. But you don't. <laughs> I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Werricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Huh. I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. 
ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuke carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 no. I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. I want to know more about this Daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrund. Don't mention it. I wonder if our talk could tell me more about Araya or Thunder's Drum. Might be worth a shot. Newcomers often remark upon the home that the frost figures, but it's been there as long as I've been alive. 